Hello, hello, my name is Sean B. Martin. Welcome back to my playthrough of The Sims 3. We rejoin the B. Martins, freshly made over and freshly toddlered, as it were. Oh, shoot, 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 shoot. Hey, hey, what's up? No, where are you? Where's the food? <laughs> uh, main menu. No, I don't want to save. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> yes, that's perfect. Of course, yes. Green, no, red. Yes, yes. Lambolin George. What? He's perfect. I was new in the city. My name was Elias McManus, and I was set out to be the best goddamn private eye this town had ever seen. First, I gotta get something to eat. My place was nice, but it was cheap. The simple furnishings. But the view, the view was killer. Well, I thought to myself, I can't just sit around here reading books all day. I gotta head down to the local precinct, get my paperwork filed. I had to make my way to City Hall, and I'm sure the road wasn't gonna be easy. Or maybe it would be very, very easy indeed, because it was just about a quarter mile away. In a world where danger lies around every corner, an investigator sets their own rules. If your sim is up for the challenge, a life of intrigue awaits. To find work, scan a computer to search for cases online, or wait for a local to call your sim with a case. In your downtime, the police department can always use an extra pair of helping hands. Accepted. That music is way too happy for this chilly noir story. I thought it would be a good idea to go to the bookstore first to pick up some books about logic and deduction, give myself a good head start. Also possibly get a part-time job. I mean, it's just 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. weeknights. I, that won't take up too much of my time. I can solve cases in, in all of the rest of the time I have. It's gonna, I wanna be a PI. I just like the smell of books. Well, this PI isn't gonna get anywhere by staring at this city through a TV tube. I need to get my hands on a computer tube. I made sure to spare no expense on the computer. It was my livelihood after all. Then I turned off the TV and got to work. <coughs> then I turned off the TV and got to work. Hey Elias, turn off the TV and get to work, asshole. Hyacinth Atkins is furious about a double cross that cannot be discussed over the phone. My services are needed, so I should interview Hyacinth Atkins for the details so I can get to work. Yes, I want to accept this case. Excellent. Gotta get to an interview. Let's go interview the man who can't talk on the phone. Sounds like exactly the case I want. I arrived at the location with no peculiarities. The woman was suspicious. She walked with a cane and had blue hair, which I found highly unusual. She told me Wayne Bumble hacked into her personal computer, stole some files, and used them to earn an ill-gotten promotion from work. She wants me to obtain evidence so that all wrongs can be righted. I should hack into his computer. I made sure it was the first thing I did the second I got home. Time to put my hacking skills to the test. What seemed like three days later, success. Wayne Bumble has the setup of a novice hacker. Nothing but a crummy firewall and sloppy password protector barred my way. I took the files, left a few surprises, and got out. I should report back to Hyacinth Atkins with the news. As excited as I was to report back to my employer, I had had a hard first day in the city. I needed a shower. I needed a sleep. I would see her in the morning. Also, I needed something to eat. The moment I woke up in the morning, the case was on my mind. 
Also, how hungry I was. But after that, my mind was on the case. I found Hyacinth as early as I could to give her the news. Weebs. Fula leaves? She rewarded me with $650. <laughs> Looks like my first case solved. Not bad. I thought I'd take a well-deserved break after all my hard work on my first case. But don't worry, I'll get back to it soon. Maybe, uh, maybe next week? SVM here. I'm sorry that the inaugural episode of Elias McManus P.I. was so brief, but believe it or not, it took Prime and I an hour to make that. I can promise that future episodes will be at least twice as long. I promise. It was kind of an experiment, and I think it turned out okay, but it's very short. Uh, in the future, double that, double that length at least, I want to make 15-minute episodes. And uh, the regular SVM Plays Sims 3 has not gone anywhere. That will now be posted on Wednesdays, as well as uh, McManus P.I. posted on the normal Sims Day, which is Saturday. So you can look for two episodes of The Sims 3 every week from me on this channel. SVM Plays Sims on Wednesday, and Elias McManus P.I. on Saturday. Thanks for watching. Please leave a like and favorite, and I will see you next time.